Hi everyone, welcome to the Crafty Goals collab with Amalia 2020. This is the final video recap for 2020 for December and I guess the year as a whole. Um, and right off the bat, our word is praise. Uh, I guess I'll sing my praises that I did not get sick this year and um <laughs> that i did um pretty well with my goals i um fell short in several areas but overall i feel like this collab has um kind of forced me to look at the volume of stuff beautiful things that I have um, and that I need to continue to just use what I have because honestly I'll probably never be able to get through everything I have in my lifetime even doing the schedule that I kept this year and that I'm pretty much continuing next year give or take a few changes. Now that said, you know, I've been doing spreadsheets. I kind of fell off the bandwagon. Well, anyway, my praise is to Amalia for kind of forcing me to, in a way, to do this. You didn't force me, I know, but um, it's an eye-opener. It's an eye-opener. So I encourage everyone to, if you have not done goals like this for crafting, and you have a lot of stuff i would encourage you to do this at least for one year and see how you're doing um it helps if you have a budget you know as well like or uh, helps you stay on budget in a sense i mean there's kind of times when we might fall off that and speaking of that december was a really spendy month for me on the jewelry making side but i'm only counting things that went into my personal stash which is an annie simply beads of the month kit which is approximately twenty dollars it, it was actually less than that um it, even with shipping and stuff the first month but it was not a whole lot less than that so i think it's normally 19.99 plus shipping and tax or whatever and also the bargain bead box, I wrote that wrong, the kit bargain bead box is $17.95 a month. And that actually is in my personal stash. But if I buy anything from the sister store, that's going into my business. Um, so if I like the beads from the box and I want to buy more, those go in my business for future. Now that doesn't mean I don't use some of these things to sell pieces from in the business i just have to um how do i i have to like buy it from the business from personal you know what i mean anyway um and then dollar tree yeah, i went in for christmasy stuff yeah i spent about 15 dollars plus tax um i got five rolls of faux leather ribbon because i'd never seen those in the store before and i just had to have them yeah, and I couldn't just get one color to test it. You know, I had to get all five that they had. I showed them in a haul. And I did buy quite a number of stickers, some of which were supposed to go in Happy Mail. <laughs> one of one batch of which I completely forgot to put in a package, and the other one is still sitting here too. So they're going to go out pretty soon. Anyway, I, I bought some stickers. And the rest of the Dollar Tree was like foodie stuff or storage. I actually was going in um, looking for, I should have wrote that on here, uh, storage. Well, mostly it's for beads. That's one of the reasons I went in the store. And I did find some of the eight, eight or ten, ten I think, uh, containers in a pack that I was looking for. So I, overall for this, for the year, I mean, like April and May, I had zero. June, I kind of went off. I got a new big shot because mine broke. Um, I bought a few things from D Stashes. 
And I guess here's where I started. Uh, and that said it would go into dye designs. I don't know which is my business. So, yeah, I did have some beadbox bargains I didn't count as business. And quality craft. So, October was bad. June, I, I, I was an essential. I, I needed it because my big shot broke. And Stampin' Up! didn't have their new one yet. But towards the end, December, I got the jewelry making bug. And I just have um, been going gung-ho on buying. Actually, I forgot one too. Potomac beads. And that one's a little pricey. I forget the exact. It's called the Best Bead Box. XL. I get the XL. They have a Best Bead Box and they have a Best Bead Box XL. I don't know how long I'll continue that because I haven't gotten a chance to make the first one yet. Which had two projects in it. And then the next one I got uh also had two projects and i might have missed that up here too anyway i've done better except on the beady stuff but the paper crafting stuff with the exception of these this ribbon and these stickers i think i've done really quite well for 2020 in curbing my spending in that regard now i just have to curb it on the bead side as well <laughs> so now um i usually do this spreadsheet i didn't actually fill it out but Get all collab projects done and videos up on time. See pink calendar, which is this, which is a mess. Well, there were a couple that I didn't do. Um, and one of them was because the other collab participant and I decided against doing it for December. And there were only the two of us doing it. And then another one, the host kind of stopped doing it. So I figured, why should I uh, continue? And then there were a couple that I might have been late on, but I don't, I don't think I was terribly late. I think I might have been an hour or two late on one or two of them, but the rest of them I think I got done. And I do track, I go back and look at my YouTube. So for my Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage channel, I did 16 videos and 8 lives. So that's 24 and um for my dahlia designs jewelry and more channel my new channel that started in november i had 16 videos two of which were sort of uh here's how i make these type things not really a tutorial but you know kind of a beat along with me kind of thing so i made those so for a total of 40 which is actually more than i did in november now some of those were special either lives or videos because Stampin' Up! had um, two things happen. They had the clearance rack refresh and the great year-end clearance sale, which is going on till January 4th, after which that's over and a new catalog starts for uh, January to June mini catalog, just so you all know. And um, I can't share the catalog, only the cover. I've been sharing products I've pre-ordered but I don't have everything. Can't buy everything. Anyway, so that is it for the pink calendar. So we went over the collabs, the tracking, crafty spending. One of my goals was use up three 12 by 12 paper pads. Um, I had one finished in April. I did finish Love You a Latte somewhere in here. Uh, so I think I maybe only finished two. Love you a latte, always Christmas. I did use a big chunk of Gilded Berry in November, in December, but I didn't finish it. Um, and part of that was the, the collab, one of the collabs we decided not to do was the end of month new project sandpaper. I'm kind of um, feeling like I've had, a, I've had a shift in my thinking especially on the 12 by 12s because they're so hard for me to use a if i ever buy well except in card making on stampin up and i am not counting my stampin up business stuff at all but i don't think i'll buy many 12 by 12s anymore because a i really don't like getting those big images in it i know you can use them for bags and stuff but how many bags do i need I'm in my 60s, guys. My family's not a big, big family. And I don't have a lot of local friends. So 
Um, I actually did use one of the bags I made with the Gilded Berry um, pad. I put my granddaughter's gifts in it to take to her house. You know, <laughs> one the oldest granddaughter. So, but I still have another one here. So it's like, how many do I need realistically? You know, what do you all do with these things that you're making throughout the year? Um, and I normally donate most of my cards, but I couldn't donate to our um, the nursing home my mother was in because they're pretty much still on lockdown and not accepting stuff so I have a mess here of made things and made cards and I am scheduling in in 2021 that's something that's new I am I have actually scheduled in at least one day a month that I will be packaging stuff up cards whatever for the next either the next month birthdays and such to send out or um, thank yous for my Stampin' Up! business that I fell way behind in sending things out. Um, so I apologize to those who have been wonderful and placed orders still. Um, I'm going to do better in 2021 unless something happens with my health or whatever, you know, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm intending on doing better. The last Wednesday of every month is a definite shipping, you know, get things together for shipping. Maybe I won't get them out till the Thursday, but um, spending that day doing thank yous and things like that. Organizing my cards, you know, sending out gifts to people of cards I've made or if they want them. I don't even know. That's part of my issue is I kind of sometimes feel like my items aren't worthy of going to my crafty friends because A, they can make a lot of it themselves and B, uh, I don't know, sometimes I don't think they're 100%, you know, or, or 110% or whatever that I feel they should be before sending them out. So anyway, that's, that's where I'm at with that. I have scheduled a send it out day. Now that said, there are some people in my Stampin' Up! peer team. I need to get birthday cards out before the end of the month and possibly a few other people that I don't even remember because I don't have them written down anywhere. Um, well, I know one because she shares my birthday with me. <laughs> so I don't have any of those cards out yet. So people will be getting things, but they might be coming a little later in January. All right. So anyway, I'm going to do better. I hope uh, that's the that's the plan as far as mailing things out so but I'm going to continue trying to use things up is my is my overall comment there I don't know that I'm going to be tracking it like this we have actually dropped our 12 by 12 paper pad collab because even though I have a lot to use up I find it really hard to sit and work with one pad continuously for a month or two months or three months till I finish it. But by the time I was done with Love You A Latte, I, I was so sick of looking at that paper pad. I didn't want to see it ever again, you know, and I don't want to get that way with paper pads. It's supposed to be fun and not feel like a chore. And, um, and that's what it was starting to feel like. Now, I don't really feel that way with the small ones because there's less to them. Some of them eh, could be. And um, one of the people in my smash that small paper pad collab but that is on the 25th, which we are continuing, is Julie, um, Paper Play with Julie K. And she pulls out at the beginning of the year, like, I don't know, several, I'll just say several small paper pads. And she works with them, you know, uh, interchangeably. So that by the end of the year, she hopefully has finished them all. And she did really well last year. And I like that idea because that way you don't get bored with the same paper pad over and over and over again. That, I think, is my problem. I get bored with the same the same one, especially on the 12 by 12 So, So, and I have de-stashed a lot of 12 by 12s I have a lot more, though. I just, I don't know. Anyway, I, I, I'm rambling. Okay, so I had met my small paper pads. We're up to that now anyway. I think I fell short on 
one I, I might not have written in stuff I did in September October I, I I may have smashed something in there I just can't remember anyway um, so the small paper pads my goal originally was four and then I said use up three more July to December I had actually finished five through July or through June excuse me I, I did finish Mint to be Fab. I did finish A Christmas Farmhouse. I started with the Kaiser Craft. It's like a sepia Christmas one. I did not finish that. Uh, I do intend to finish that in January. Possibly not for the Smash of the Small Paper Pad, but for something else. Um, but it will be done. So I was for the most part there. So that would be eight small paper pads finished. Uh, mid you know we'll say mid January <laughs> of this year so pretty close to that goal make photograph and try to sell jewelry okay well in November I had made 49 pieces I actually logged all those pieces in my inven my jewelry piece inventory system and pr that that means you price them so I did price them I put them in baggies or on earring cards or whatever um, in December for the 18th having fun making jewelry I made 12 pieces I made three beaded tassels for embellishments I think it was I'm not even sure now I made one purse charm for summer all year long and I made um, Eight more pairs of earrings on 1224 which was one of the tutorial type videos on Dahlia designs and I made six pieces on 1231 but they were part of a metallic um, sparkles kit and I made another 11 pieces on January 1st they just went up in a video today on January 2nd on my Dahlia designs jewelry and more channel they were using the soft flex metallic sparkles kit and two additional strands I bought to go with it and I used almost all of that kit up except for some um, oh, oh gosh what are they called bugle beads and crimp beads and some beading wire so I was pretty pleased with the results of that so go over and check that out on Dahlia Designs Jewelry and More so I've gotten things done I started taking pictures I have still to edit them I had a big issue with getting pictures off my phone into my computer my son did that for me but with December I just didn't have time to edit any of them and get them posted to my shop and January is so busy I don't, I don't know I'm gonna try I'm, I'm trying something new in January another new thing uh, I am trying to set aside most Sundays and Thursdays for anything jewelry whether it's making jewelry entering it in my system taking the pictures and editing them posting list listings on my um, Etsy shop I still have an Etsy shop or and or my Facebook page I have a Dahlia Designs Facebook page for my jewelry um, I need to beef that up so I think at least one day a month or two days a month will be mostly the the pictures and the editing and the other days will be making hopefully um, and I have to for a couple collabs plus I have these kits I, I really want to use them and not have them sit here forever happy mails random acts of kindness yeah totally blew at the second half of the year sorry guys um use up 15 sticker sheets in 2020 i'm i used um i did that i met i had used 18 through june and then i decided i wanted to use 10 more july to december apparently didn't do that in august i can't remember september and october i used um oh goodness me what did I do I, I wrote prog oh wait that's not the same thing I, I finished two in December I used most of one in in November making um November I made altered paper clips with them and December oh gosh I know I used two sheets 
they were, what were they? <laughs> denim. They were denim um, stickers. Two packs of those up. So it was like one in a partial. But I'm going to say I did not finish 10 more sheets. Um, but overall, I'm using up stickers. I did feel a little bit in December because I bought some more. I only bought a few for me, like like two or three. That's it. But considering I'm only using, you know, one or two a month, that's not good. I had already canceled the washi tape thing. I have to de-stash washi. I just have to, but it's hard. I look at it and think, oh, I really like that one. But when am I going to use it? I don't know. I did make good progress using up all store-bought card bases and envelopes, non-stampin' up. I, uh, I just wrote progress in here. I did use um, more of these A2 cards, and I think there were other ones I used up as well. Now, here's the thing. I'm probably going to end up having to buy envelopes if I make five by seven or other odd size cards uh, other than memories and more cards or a2 because I'm not going to make those envelopes myself for every card I make and I'm kind of liking and slimline cards too kind of liking making some of those larger cards every now and then like I just did recently for um lovely ladies or house mouse I forget well both I think so I, I have gone through my bin. There's a lot of cards I used up throughout this year. I uh, put down here, I used 102 here, 28 there. I know that month, but I, I did use quite a few up in this latter part. I finished a couple packs. I remember doing that. So I'm going to say that's a success, but with the caveat that I'm still going to have to buy envelopes for uh, envelopes, not necessarily cards, for the odd or odd sized cards other than A2, right? Okay, um, craft fairs were a total bust. Um, I'm hoping that we'll start to be able to do some in the spring, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And I would like to do at least three or four, if so, in 2021. But um, I also am older. I have a tent. I cannot do a craft fair by myself outside. And I don't really have anyone that can go with me and help or that will go with me and help. So I've decided I'm only going to do indoor and most of those are smaller venues or way too expensive for me. I can't afford like a 600 or $800 for a table at a really big, well, fancy craft fair. So it'll be smaller venues and maybe I won't do well, which is even more reason I need to get that Etsy shop going better. I don't sell my cards, guys. I sell, you know, the products, Stampin' Up! products, but I don't sell my cards. Um, so they will all be donated somewhere. I just have to get on that. And track quantities of items made each month. Paper crafts, I really didn't. I didn't do the schedule for December. So I made a lot. If I, if I kept up with this collab schedule, which I pretty much did, I made a lot. I just, I don't know, December I fell off the, the tracking wagon. <laughs> uh, so my apologies for that. But um, I did do... Let's see, I did a lovely, I mean, I'm not even going to go there. I just, I did a lot. Um, so if I did 165 in November, uh, yeah, 165 in November was the final, I guess, in October, I don't remember. But um, I probably didn't do quite as much in December as November because November had a Christmas collab that I did wasn't in in December and then the holidays you know my son's birthday my granddaughter's birthday um so I don't think I made quite as much in December so probably about a hundred and I don't know 50 items maybe I made more jewelry and less cards perhaps because Christmas was you know we're almost done doing the Christmas card thing right anyway 
So, what about 2021? I'm rambling on. It's already 24 minutes. Minutes. I'm so sorry. So, 2021. I'm not going to formally do this collab. Amalia is continuing, but in an informal way. So, if any of you want to play along, you just have to make some goals and use. If you do do a video and use hashtag uh, crafty goals. That's it. Not crafty goals with Amalia. Just half tag hashtag crafty goals and then on the first saturday of each month at i guess 3 p.m report on your goals i'm not going to do that guys um i am still i'm a planner girl so i instead of a pink calendar i have this um eraser all over it i have another dollar tree one this is what i'm calling my messy calendar <laughs> Um, it lists all my collabs when they're due <coughs> in ink and the pink ones are actually ones that I'll be posting on my other channel, um, Dahlia Designs, Jewelry and More. And then I had bought this planner uh, on sale for like $7.50 from online. I forget who I bought it from. Good grief, I can't even remember. I think it was Hobby, Hobby Lobby. Anyway, um, this is going to be, I'm writing all my collabs in also. I'm not going to put, like, on this sheet, uh, I'm not going to put, like, pencil in when I'm going to make stuff. And then what I decided to do is on these sheets actually track what I've done. So that at the end of the year, I can see where I'm spending my time. This is sort of like the, the plan and the highlighted ones will be when I've got them done and up. Um, I'm doing this one now, so I highlighted it. But um, I'm going to actually write in here my, my actual efforts of what I've done. So you can see I've already done quite a bit here and I'm working on this one right now so we can check that off well, actually I won't check it off till it's actually uploaded and YouTube's taken a long time to upload so yeah and I am doing it the day it's due to go up but um so three other videos plus this one are up or scheduled two of them on my Dahlia Designs channel one up and one scheduled for tomorrow um, I have a, a small one going up on the same channel after I get this one up. And I'm going to make more jewelry today. Um, and I have to cook something for dinner because tomorrow I have to make cards for my live. I rescheduled my Friday live to Sunday. And I want it to be a fun, um, a fun live. So I did pencil that in, but... I'll, I'm penciling it because I'm going to use eraser and then actually write what I did. But you'll notice the next week it's blank. And that is on purpose because I'm not going to write things in until they are happening. So that's what I'm doing for 2021. I have my actuals. I have my plan. But this is my messy one. That's my neater one. And it's sort of like a log journal of what you've done is more how I'm using this one and it'll have some personal stuff in it too so I won't be sharing that and I don't know that I'll be sharing this either so for 2021 what did I do with it I have I already did a video on all these collabs but I'll repeat it here just slightly. I'm in one, two, three, in and or hosting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen collaborations. I have live streams most Tuesday and Friday nights for Stampin' Up. I also will be doing a paper pumpkin unboxing and making as intended every month and most months alternatives videos although last month I missed and I haven't done this month yet this past month and I need to do that before the 11th when they mail or soon after when they mail the next one and that's for stamping up and then on my um, Dahlia Designs channel I'm doing unboxings of kits hauls which are going to wind down a little bit and finished jewelry pieces 
Um, so two to three videos per week is my goal there. Probably closer to two because I just don't know how I can keep up the schedule. Um, two of those will be collabs that are on here. So out of the, what did I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Out of the 15 collabs, two are on my other channel. And um, plus the other, some of these other videos. So yeah, it's going to be a busy going to be a busy one um busy 2021 that's okay but i am finding too i need time for organizing my home my life outside of youtube <laughs> and um it's sad i'm trying to schedule it and i'm thinking oh my gosh i have one day a month that i can do that because the days i go live i need time those days to prepare and make cards so that i can bring them to you um you know, and that's two days a week. I had thought about cutting it down to one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it as Tuesday and, and Friday. But if Friday ends up being a problem or Tuesday, I'll push it and do it on Sunday. That's my that's my uh, out day, if you will, my extra day. Um, I don't like doing them on Sunday because that seems to be the day I get to do my housework and I have to make jewelry that day uh, or do jewelry stuff. But it's, <clears throat> excuse me, also trash night. So I tend to clean the lit kitty litter vacuum, how, you know, all the chores we all have to do. Plus, I just need to cook and spend time with my family and well, my son that lives here that, you know, I hardly get to spend any time with, actually. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of rethinking it a little bit. I'm going to do this match for 2021, but... I don't know what will happen by the end of the year. We'll, we'll see. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great 2021. Um, thank you all so much for being part of this collab or watching us as we go through our journey. Um, and although I won't be doing a formal video for you each month, uh, I may pop in every now and then just let you know how things are going. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I just don't want to be held to the formal tracking. And in some regards, it's great. And in other regards, it was starting to make me, it's starting to feel a little burdensome towards the end of the year, especially. Um, and like I wasn't, I wasn't doing it, even though I, I did a lot. I did a lot this year. So, all right, guys, that's all. Have a wonderful new year. Be safe. Uh, stay healthy if you can. You know, best wishes for a safe, healthy, and happy. Enjoy your crafting. And hugs, love, and peace to everyone. Bye for now.